Hey, 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 everyone. Today we have... No, kidding. Hey, everyone. We have a great show today. If we stop the echoing, we are in a cave, we're in a cave right now, so we might echo once in a while. But today's stuff, we've got, ooh, a House of the Inside uh, Dragon. Yep, yep. House of Dragon. And Poughkeepsie Blues tapes. And then we finish this off with a double team of Santa... Santa Claus? No, uh, Santa Sangria. Santa Sangri? Uh, Santa Ho Ho, I don't know. All that and more, next stream in Demons. Hit it. How are you doing? We are doing another exciting adventure of Streaming Demons with yours truly, Jim Phoenix, and my co-host, J.M. Brannick. If it is her real name, say hello. Santa Sangre. Santa Sangre. That's, That's your new name, blood. Santa Sangre? Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, you could say that. Is it like a poor name, Santa Sangre? It could be. It should be. So uh, if the if you haven't heard the, the trailer to this, uh, eventually... Or eventually, I guess we're doing Santa Sagria as the team up <laughs> and House of Ancestral Dragons as mine. And then, you know, you know, we got something like the uh, Poughkeepsies. The, the Poughkeepsies. Poughkeepsies. You're doing blue. Yeah, we used to do something like new, old, yeah. borrowed, yeah. and blue. You're doing blue. I am doing blue. It's it's something that we usually don't do a lot of, but I watched it thinking it was going to be an old one and it turned out to be a blue one. So. Old, old blue. and blue, just like old blue, old the guy blue. off of like, old school who dies. Old, old blue, bluer. like old or blue yellow. iris, the guy, the guy, the gal from uh, porn who also dies. Damn, a lot of people. Blue there's die. a lot. Well, there's blue, a lot of people blue, that yeah. die in this too. So, oh, there you go. Is that what I said? Wow. Uh, oh, you'll oh, you'll, you'll see. Said? You'll see. You'll see. Okay. It's but it has it does have a fun name of Poughkeepsie. That's such a fun name, Poughkeepsie. Small little place in New York where Twisted Sisters from Poughkeepsie. I've never been there. I find it an adorable name, Poughkeepsie. Yeah, it's, it's a hellhole. But all right, so we already know the the first. There's no guest, so we're gonna go launch right into boxes stuff. Jan Brannick, as their video box just goes away, take it yeah, away. Because it it started roboting for me. In our 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 uh, our cave, so I took my oh, video okay. away. Um, okay. So you don't know which part of the cave I'm at. You'll have to come find me. No, um, no. So the Poughkeepsie tapes. I mean, it's it's a delightful. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's a joke delightful. in and out of itself. Um, <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm trying People... to find you in this cave. <laughs> you know the fun. <laughs> The funny thing is, Marco. the people who know what the Poughkeepsie tapes are are going to be so enraged. Are you saying this name correctly? It's Poughkeepsie. The, it's not Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie. It's not like Queen the Pooh. It's well, then why is it G H P P O O G H Poughkeepsie 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 Pow? I don't know. I think it's a Poughkeepsie man. Poughkeepsie. All Ooh, right. Okay. Anyway, the okay. people people who know this are going to be so enraged because this is one of those cult films. Oh, cult film? It, oh no! It is like a cult, cult film. Uh, because cult film. it is sure. a found footage film. Um, oh no! Yeah, oh. from 2017. Oh, um, it's it's interesting because it did not actually get a release in theaters. It kind of went straight to video and then didn't make turn a lot of heads and then when it got re-released it started turning more heads because straight to video is my jam dude yeah it's you know and the funny thing is we all know the Blair Witch that's like you know yeah, that cannibal holocaust or like the two like main, oh like, no I know no, you don't no, like it no, but they're, they're the two main no. like found footage no. films no, 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 no. In our collective consciousness. 
Uh, truth be told, I wrote a sequel to the Blair Witch. Huh? That's not the one that got made. <laughs> if anyone's wondering, I wrote a sequel to the Blair Witch. The Book of Shadows. Because that was the. the it's big... not the one that got made. Oh. I, I, they went a different direction. I, oh. I made it into an urban. <laughs> oh no! 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 <laughs> I, I found better the script. It was like. I know why it didn't get made. So. Jim, no. Oh, where's my kazoo? Where's uh, my... I, I called it the Blair Witch Project. Where's my kazoo in this? Oh, I hear something. Is that yes. me blowing the kazoo? Now I have oh, to run. run have, now I have to run away so you know my location. Um, so let's actually talk about the movie. Okay. Um, it is a found footage tape. It is very in the style and of most oh, oh, it's Baby, in the style Yoda, of Baby Yoda docu- documentaries um, that are that have to deal with like um, killers or hmm. so a lot of like true crime people will notice there's a lot of beats that it takes off of from those right. kind of like documentaries totally and stories. That type of beat. Um. So you're going, basically, you're going through the story from the detectives that are reviewing the tapes, from the people that are involved in the disappearances okay. of people, and um, the tapes themselves. Grandma's cookies! Oh, I, I thought it was Grandma's cookies, but it's actually no. from the tape, not it's just Grandma's It's the tapes cookies. themselves, and the tapes, I think they said that there were, I can't remember, 600 of them? Or something like Six. that. They're just oh, tapes upon no. tapes upon tapes upon tapes. And there's one guy whose job is to like watch them all. And um and it kind of talks about that. And it talks Dude. about how many of them are this one particular girl named Cheryl Dempsey, who is I'm um, Cheryl Dempsey. You're not. Um <laughs> who is taken as a teenager Ooh. and basically made into his slave. Who cares? Ooh, that's dark. That is dark. It's that's it's why dark. it's blue. Why is pain in the cave of us? What the hell? You bring him everywhere because so, he's your platonic life partner, and I still don't I, understand I think, it. I think, oh, you know, so PTSD, CT. It's an awesome in, kind of insidious movie because as I'm watching it, you know, because a lot of people are like, "Oh, this is a scary one. Oh, this is graphic. Oh, this is creepy." You know, I've heard th- I've heard this these mentioned several times in several lists from other reviewers from other um websites from other places yes this is one of the ones that always pops up as like oh this is super creepy this is super like weird and kind of gross and independent but you know it's it will keep you up at night etc etc so of course now i watch it um (laughs) i saw it i was like whatever so um, i'm interested in what you saw then Okay, well, here's what I saw is as I'm watching it, I'm like, okay, yeah, that that's an interesting story, and I like this story. It's not so much of a story and not so much of a story like study of any one person because you don't know right. much about the killer. And honestly, that kind of plays into its benefit, much like, say, Black Christmas, where you don't understand Billy at all. You don't understand the motivations. You don't understand anything. You just know he is there to kill period. I'm not talking about the other Black Christmases, and I'm not talking about other Poughkeepsie tapes. Oh, I was thinking of Black Mass. I was like, the one with Johnny Depp? No, no, no. That's no. Black Mass, right? Okay, yeah. Um, so, with this, it, it is a mystery, much like many ki- killers in our today times are. You know, like... Mystery. It's a hat on a hat. a horrible mystery, and I think the most insidious thing about this movie is... A couple days afterwards, you know, I would think to myself, oh, you know, this reminds me of that one murder that I heard about. And in the back of my mind, I would have to be like, oh, wait, no, that's a story. That didn't really happen. But it's so Uh believable that, and we hear about these stories so often that it's, it's not out of the realm of possible. Now, some of the kills are over the top. They're very over the top. Um... But it's like, okay, but, you know, honestly, I've heard of weirder stories. I've, I've, he- I've heard of these weird stories, you know, and who's to say that a killer like this could not exist or has not existed 
or anything like that. And I think that is like the most creepy part of it because again, it, it's kind of cloying at you because you can go about your day and just be like, oh yeah, that's right. I was watching this documentary about this thing and you almost tell people about it. Like, oh, I watched this documentary and then you have to stop yourself because you're like, no, that was not a documentary. That was, that was fictional, but it was so real. And I think they got, they did such a wonderful job with it because of that. And the actors that they had were so plausible and so um they look at real people yes absolutely they, they can almost be people yes I, absolutely I, I like actor who are, who are can be people and like there was one interview with the mother and she's like i met the killer once i met him like and it actually shows the vi- video footage of that from the killer's perspective and she's like and i hate that moment every day of my life because i was sorry that was the killer's perspective Uh uh-huh and she's like i hate it because i was so afraid and i did nothing i could have maybe i could have saved my daughter and i did nothing and like that's just such good writing and such good acting that again like i would have to catch myself and be like that didn't really happen well it might have well not this particular story no how how do you know did you research it how do you know it's just not like some snuff film we just watched it's not. I researched it. This face is a death all over again, isn't it? It's. <laughs> it's it's face of death, by the way. Damn it! We should have picked face of death. Oh, gosh, dang it! Well, we could do that next time. Yeah. I, okay. Next time, faces of death, because I do have That's a lot of thoughts on that. Yeah, I know. I have a lot of thoughts on faces of death, and I have a review coming up on faces. Yes. So for for tipsy uh, tapes, you're saying tipsy. it. it Got you and your blue because you were thinking it was a real thing. And well, like, well, that I got, real it got me blue because to to get that far into society to say, oh, this is a real thing in my brain to be like, yeah, that sounds that sounds fair. Um, <laughs> that's about right. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, that's why it's blue because it was it, it was like, oh god, that poor, poor Cheryl, and then I'd be like. She wasn't fucking real. Oh. Like, um, but in the way she is, because shit like that does happen. Like, um the the numbers for women who are being abducted and sold off as, you know, um sex slaves and things like that is getting oh. higher. You know, um, so it's not like it's completely out of the realm of anything that could happen and that's why it made me blue well see you're just you're just caring about sex slaves and stuff like that and mr slave and you're so loud now am i yeah am I loud? did i get loud people am you i did. like you're, you're i think you're around. i think you're closer to me in the cave i'm gonna back I, off I, a little bit can you find me can, can you find me in the cave no, I'm not, I don't want to find you in the cave. Come on, go searching. I don't maybe know. I'm the killer. Oh, maybe I'm the killer. I don't know. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is for um for it being such an independent film, it did so much. And I think actually it really did add to the found footage genre. And obviously... Oh, it added a film? Huh? Well, shush. <laughs> it added a film. I mean, come yeah, on. Like, it yeah but it added to the people's collective consciousness because again like i said oh. i hear it a lot i hear it brought up in a lot of different places and like, um it is it is cloying so i'm going to give it i'm going to give it a 4 a 4 yeah i'm going to give for it a 4 tapes? for pick really for Poughkeepsie. yeah Poughkeepsie. it doesn't Poughkeepsie. even have sharks in it i know but i that's, here that's i stand same, uh... here i stand here I stand, here I fall, it all goes that's, without Adderall. We don't, have, we don't have license for that. Adderall? No. Uh, I think my doctor can give me one. Yeah. <laughs> that's called a prescription, not a license. Oh, I'm sorry. License, prescription, whatever. <laughs> the doctor has to have license. They give me a prescription, that's how it works? Uh, I know something was licensed. Well, a four, man. I, I have to follow a four? Yep. Damn it. All I have is, like, incest. Uh... <laughs> Step, you heard this one. 
is a story about a house that has dragons and a bunch of incest and a bunch of talking and like the the big bad guys like these white walkers but they don't ever really appear and like something about children being like raped can you guess the, the tv show yet um i'm gonna say stranger things season Ooh. 20 or wherever season we're at 20 now. 20 for the money yeah no i'm doing house of the dragon from the game of thrones land dragon it might be dragons dragon i don't know dragon on that's what it did <laughs> if you read any of my write-ups for sexyfandom.com if you haven't why the hell aren't you probably should you're gonna but notice he does that not swear in. he doesn't swear in oh, i'm pretty sure i swear like a motherfucker do i, I don't oh know. i thought Maybe you I didn't swear me <laughs> not in there not in there i thought you kept it clean and classy no, 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 no. I, I, I down the joke so it's not completely a holish. Oh. But I think I do maybe swear. I don't know. I don't okay. always swear that much, anyways. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I apparently, if you do read my stuff, do I swear? <laughs> yeah. Please, please let know. us know at Haunted MTL on Twitter or on Instagram, or even tweet the uh, sexy fan. I guess they'll, they'll yeah. probably get. Yeah. It is something that I'm glad I'm reviewing. It's something that I, I didn't mean I did the entirety of Game of Thrones for them. And so to do House of Dragons, I was like, yeah, I would love to do House of Dragons. It's awesome. And the first episode was like, uh, how old is she? It gets creepy quickly. Like this, like, oh. And you know, if you have any mm. idea about the Game of Thrones, you know the Tarkanians. Tarkini the, the basketball coach for UNLV is Jerry Tarkanian. Like, I don't Targaryen. know anything sports. Nothing sports wise? Uh, no. It's you know, in the shock, you know. You know the Targaryens had incest because that's what all they talk about for like 16 seasons for Game of Thrones. Like, well, we're just doing what the Targaryens did. There's nothing wrong with that. We just fucked each other. I don't care about whatever. But we didn't know how creepy it was. I think maybe I didn't find Jamie and Cersei creepy having sex. It's kind of like Luke and Leia. Like, oh, whatever. They're brother and sister, but they're adults, you know? This is like older uncle daddy and younger sibling cousin. This is Alabama. No offense, mm. everyone from Alabama. All two of you sitting around what I assume is like the shared community computer to listen to our podcast. Uh, now coming out on a track, by the way, just to get to Alabama. Too. Yeah. But yeah, I can't find my hey, kazoo in the darkness. Kazoo, that's okay. They can't read in the dark. Hot and I was just oh, there. It is there. It I hear, is. Hold on, where's the kazoo? I, oh, I hear the kazoo oh, running. I need to. Oh, oh, okay. Pain, do you have Who cares? Okay, he says keep the noise. So, if you are big Game of Thrones fans, it's great, sort of. If you are big Game of Thrones fans for, like, oh, I don't know, unless the dragons, like, oh my god, dragons. It starts off with dragons, like, oh my god, it starts off with these dragons. Oh my god, my god this is going to be awesome. This is awesome. No. No that's dragons. Where it stops. Yeah, it's like, they, they tease a dragon, I'm like, oh, it's going to have, it's, it's the House of Dragons. It's literally in the fucking title. Oh, no, no. Ming's drag on. It's like the old as it's Steve or Steve bit. The drag on. So I'm like, oh, man. No, 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 no. So, yeah, you see it for a bit. And then I I have dyslexia. So I've been fine, I guess, whatever. But And so names are very hard for me, in, especially if names are in fiction where they are like Elvish or something like that. It's like, what the fuck? Like, oh, um, yeah. It's, it's the third circle of hell. Like, I have... I would talk to a friend who's read the same books as me. I'm like, hey, uh, they're like, they're, who? And I'm blah, blah, blah. I'm like, who? <laughs> like, you, like, we have to get the book out. And I have to look at the name like, oh, fuck, he's right. That's like nowhere near the name. I've been calling it Susan. <laughs> so if you see my reviews, I will call Matt Smith, Matt Smith. Because I'm like, Dame, 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 you, what the fuck? Damon? Damien? <laughs> I'm like, oh, fuck it. And I have to do it live. So uh, for my head, it's kind of like, the doctor is like raping little girls right now. I'm like that's a dark turn. That, that's a dark turn, even for Shibble, you know. Okay, whatever. 
And then like some other guy is doing some stuff and he's like the only person I really know in the cast. And he's the only person who like the, the meme is true. Like you ever see the meme where it goes, Matt Smith broke his back, you know, carrying the fucking season of House of Dragon. It, it, he carries the entire thing. When he's not in the series or the show, it just drag it just fucking sucks. Like there's no redeem there's no like, oh my god, I wonder what this character's thinking. They're gonna tell you. They're gonna tell you a great length what they're thinking. Oh, do they do it in song like in Disney? Oh fuck, I wish. <laughs> that would have been like at least something like to look forward to. No, they just you know what, what my problem was with Stranger Things, the last season of Stranger Things, all they do a is lot. talk exposition and talk and talk. It's like the fucking last habit movie where they just fucking talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only difference from like this is a Kevin Smith joke, but the only difference between well not this part, I'm ripping, I'm ripping off of Kevin Smith where it was like even the trees walked in this fucking show. The only difference between the Lord of the Rings right now and the House of Dragon, the trees don't fucking talk in the House of Dragon. That's it. It's it's just like, oh my god. I don't know if they're doing world building, but the world's already built. Like, who the fuck is are they are they rebooting it? Because we didn't we don't know where how Spider-Man got his powers. So we have to see him get bit by a fucking spider 13 more times. And we, we don't know how Superman got hit. Well, I guess just the sun, right? Uh, that's, that's kind of weird. So it, I have it, a question. Did, go for it. did J.R.R. Martin have anything to do with it? Did he write it? You know, I have no idea. Uh, all I know is this character right here is too old to be married off in the House of Dragon. That's all I know. I think he has some sort of input on it, but God, it's the political, it's a political thriller. It's like, oh, it's Brandon Broken, but an entire season of Brandon Broken with a little bit of, a little bit of sex thrown in, a little bit, a little bit. That well, sounds bit. like it's only like, it only works when Martin is behind it, like, Again, I don't watch like it. Doggy style. It only Nor works when he's behind it. You but ever watch House no. of Dragon or Game of Thrones or No. I read the it. first book and I was fine with that. <laughs> I was okay. Same with Harry Potter. I read the first book and Harry I Potter. was good to stop there. Wait, um, wait, wait. Do you like Harry Potter? I don't understand you. Okay. I don't know. Right, that was a cave echo. You don't like Harry Potter? What's wrong? No. What's wrong with you? Hmm? Uh, uh, it, it just it never appealed to me. Um, mm -hmm. Same with, like, you know, Doctor Who and stuff like that. Um, I just. Uh, <laughs> that was your kazoo. That's my oh, kazoo. God. He's getting closer. I'm running. Um, but it seems like, though, to me, that a lot more people were happier right, when um, Martin was like at the home. Like he okay. was kind of holding it all together. If you read the books and then you watched the first couple seasons of Game of Thrones, it's the book come to life. It's right. like, holy fucking shit. This is the book come to life. And then when he, not even when he stopped writing the book, but when he started going off script, it's like, oh, wait a minute. That's, that's, they change characters. No huge spoilers. If you haven't seen Game of Thrones, well, I'm I saving some time right now, I guess. But <laughs> Jamie Lannister in the books doesn't rape his sister on their dead son's, you know, the coffin or I, don't know, I almost said something else, but the, the, the coffin. They don't. He doesn't rape his sister on the dead body of their kid. In the books, oh, that's, that's... they have consensual sex on the dead body of their kid, and, and the movie is like, oh no, I must, I must change his character to make him a rapist. I'm like well, that really changes the fucking character a lot. But, you know, we think, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't I like mean, a little bit of change. It's like, what the fuck? You, why? Why just? Do well, that? again, rape is not our sponsor. Um, it was not, especially on the the poor coffin of your child. Um, there was no pool of coffin. It's like gold, I think. So 
Uh, well, we're going to talk about. Coffin. I'm going to talk or, about uh, coffins later, so I'll put a pin in that. Coffin. Yeah. <clears throat> so what? Is there anything redeemable? Is the music okay? Is the cinematography yeah. good? The music is so bad that the first episode they switched back to the Game of Thrones theme song. Ugh. Oh God. I mean, oh. The Matt's the thing that works, Matt Smith. Yeah, sounds Matt like Smith it. Work, but he pulls a heavy load on this one. No pun intended on that. Yeah. He is the show. The other people are just kind of plastic. Even the princess is sort of okay, but it's things. I think the actress for the princess is being. I, I call it the thirteenth Doctor effect. She could be a good actress. She could be a great princess in the Targaryen line, but the writing sucks ass for her. So she's not getting the actual chance to do anything <laughs> yet. Plus, it could be the direction that she's given to. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, she could be wonderful, but just there's almost a spark. And then it's like, oh, we're going to talk. The episode that just aired, it, by the way, we record this on the 22nd. So it was the last episode that aired. I believe I called it 59 minutes of walking and talking. Mm. Like this is not her fault. It's not the actor's fault. It's no the writing. It's the director. It's, it's the show running. It's a lot yeah. of shit's wrong. With it. It's not their fault. And so unless the, the next couple episodes are just firing flame balls and shit, it doesn't help to keep jumping in time to the point where you don't know. I'm like, is this the kid that they were raping before, or is that a new person? Is it their offspring now? <laughs> is it the offspring, which is a bantam thing later on? I don't know. I I so, do want to point out though too because a lot of times this is what people get flack on is that like you said it's not their fault and a lot of times it's the actor or the actress that gets the blame put on them yeah Um, that's not fair and that's not fair because they're they're doing a job and a lot of times you know the director is the one who directs that the writer is the one you know who right i mean it's a it's a full team it's not just one person. Yeah, so I'm, keep that in mind, people. When you say stuff online, even when you think the actor, ring, the actor ring. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff is for me. If, if you think I just like talk like shit, then you're probably right. It's not the director or the writer. It's just... <laughs> but even if you think the acting is plastic, sometimes that's editing. Sometimes that's post. They're just like, oh yeah, absolutely. We, we, yeah, we need background noises to make it us believe there's actual conversation so when you're saying hello my name is and there's like no other noise it's just the actor's voice it doesn't seem natural so we just know something's off something's plastic or something like that or it could be the or camera it could be adr be like shitty adr you know and um i mean like the yeah. best example of that is like the room where was, he walks in hi doggy you know yeah. um and it's just so cut so miserably that it, it like you said, it sounds so plastic and so forced yeah. and so bad, and it's really not. Well, it was his fault, but it's really not their fault. You know, there's a lot of people at play here. So yeah, absolutely, what, it's the whole thing. Are there are we redeeming besides Matt Smith? No, but okay, I'm, I'm gonna give it a mercy kill right now. If it can turn around, it it has the potential to be like a four or five. It really does, and that's the thing that pisses mm-hmm. me off. Like, well, this could yeah. be a great series. I look forward to, I think the joke was, I look forward to the White Walker, the Jon Snow spinoff, so we can have Jon Snow, like snow, walking in the snow, because that's all we know. I don't know. Look up the damn joke up. I don't know. <laughs> but I, I have more, I have more, like, hopes for that spinoff now, mm. because it can't possibly be worse my well, remind me. You could <laughs> be, can't possibly you could be wrong. Point. You could be I a could lot be wrong. Usually wrong. Like, hey, not enough rape and incest. Boy, we got that one fixed. Welcome to John's Snow. <laughs> but it's it's all the, it's all the weird like inside jokes. Like, you know, the really big bad guy we have to protect from the White Walkers. No, 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 no. That, that they were done like before the end of the season. So, um, re- you really meant uh, politics with the big bad guy, or. You know, you know, you're gonna be the Lord of Flame. This I'm like, no, no, no. We already kind of mentioned that like half second for Jon Snow, and we kind of glanced over it. Or you know, these pirates. Oh, you mean the entire storyline that's like a half a book for George R. R. Martin, and like completely forgot about. Literally, 
forgotten about, even by the characters in the fucking Game of Thrones going, there's pirate ships? You know. So with all that stuff, it, it's kind of like just, it, it's self-deprecating, but I don't think they're trying to be. I think there's like, like, oh, look, we're, we're pointing towards the future. I'm like, you're pointing towards the book's future, but not what you actually cut and aired on HBO. So, 2.5. If Without Matt okay. Smith, this is like a one, by the way. That's, yeah. Or okay. negative something. <laughs> with Matt Smith, 2.5. That's, that's fair. That sounds yeah. fair. So with that said, it's going to get worse from here, guys. No, it's going to get better. So much what better. I, say, I say Santa Sangria, so obviously that's not the name of the movie. Santa Sangre. Holy Santa blood. Sangre. Holy oh blood. Oh, my God. Sangre, right, yeah. That's what his so mom here's says. A- Holy blood. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't give me flashbacks. So <laughs> here's the background on this. We were supposed to do a, was it art camp? No, it was, oh, yeah, no, you're right. It was art, art camp. camp. It was higher yeah. camp. We were supposed to do a podcast like 2000 before the pandemic, was it? Oh, no, it was no 19? during the pandemic. Oh, during? Okay. It was during the pandemic. Oh, uh, I guess it's still sort of. That's but, yeah. when we started doing podcasts was I was getting stir crazy in my house. And I'm like, hours of I have to do something in my house. Mm-hmm. And so we started podcasting. And so I had cool. high art camp with um, somebody else. And uh, <laughs> you, you can absolutely, you know, I, I'm not going to say you can say the name, but the okay. name is. And uh, yeah, there, there you go. Yep. The name. So um, this was supposed to be another one that we were going to do. Um, and because I have the best luck um, with co-hosts. Yeah. Um, that was actually the one that we never actually sat down to do. And that yeah. was the one that yeah. like broke us. Yeah. And I was the guest on that show. So yeah. I had to actually watch this fucking movie. Yeah. He watched it. I, yeah. I loved it. I movie. hated it. I love it. Every second, like, movie. why is this torture? I mean, this is before I was just, when we did podcasts, I'm like, here's the money. You guys do pot, whatever yep. you want. Like, I'll buy it for, buy it and for just a song like, and a dance. Yeah, yeah, and that was a painful experience for me. I that mean, was... it was, you know, absolutely. Who cares? Yeah, that right there. And I, I, I have movie. a surprise for you, Bach, or JM, Rannick. I have Both. a surprise for you. Yes. All the way from, uh, I, I got your old co-host back. No, you don't. Higher camp. Yeah, yeah. That's why uh-huh. That's why I brought you to this cave. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's not. But to kill me? No, 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 no. Oh, we, I thought we, it was we, to kill me and to make a tape yeah. out of it. And you could call it Cave Kipsy Tape. Cave Kipsy Tapes? No. Cave Kipsy? Uh, cave no, no, but we have none other than <laughs> coming back live right now. I don't you think ready? I'm going to like this. I don't think I'm going to like this. Say what? hi. Hi. Hey, bye. What's up? I don't like this. <laughs> Oh, what do you mean you don't like us? No time, no see. Or something like that. I like penis. I like that dude who played the goblin. What's his name? Penis. Don't you think Bully is deep? I don't like this. I think we need three more episodes on Bully. I yeah. don't like this. I don't like this. Don't Jim. Like that. Jim, I don't like this. I don't like this. Like I don't like this. Stop I'm it, calling it. it. I'm calling it. I don't like this. What's what's our like secret your, word? Your guest? No, banana hammock. I don't like it. <laughs> <Banana hammock. laughs> you know, the funny thing is, I couldn't remember the the person or the special guest couldn't remember what's his name. Willem Dafoe. A- Anakai. No, Dafoe. He's... Wow. Willem from Dafoe. penis, you got Willem the Fall. Yes, from I penis, did. Yes, Dafoe. I did. It, is there any other? <laughs> I I don't know. It, was there really three, three things of bully? I, I can't. Was that the one that had three episodes? Yes, bully? yes. Oh my god! That and was, poor what, court, what? court, sweet court innocent, <laughs> sweet innocent court, court, sweet innocent court, court. Did you hear what she did on that? Exquisite corpse where she's like the walls oh, are yes. covered with fucking leather or like yes. flesh. She's she's very gruesome and I love yeah. it. 
Absolutely. Especially because she says it in such a giggly voice. She's like, and all the walls are <laughs> full of dead skin. <laughs> and it's yeah. crusty. And it's like, oh, court court. Yeah. Yeah, we can't name who else has done it, but there's a lot. We, of we fought a lot about our our staff from that. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, what's the hotel? Like, wait, wait, what? The was... question was, what's a hotel? Oh yeah, uh, yep. yeah, yep. What do you? <laughs> I don't know what you do at a hotel. <laughs> that was that was the thing. I don't know how you talk to people in a hotel because I've never been there. I'm... I've never been to one. Hello, <laughs> hotel like, person. What? <laughs> okay. Anyway, anyway, oh, days have passed. This is the tweet for me because it's better than Santa Sangria. Santa Sangria is one of my favorite movies. <laughs> oh, I'm it's very so good. I'm good it's so good. Yoga yeah, this is this is the payback for yoga hosers. Okay. It is. So it is, and I'm gonna s- absolutely say his name completely wrong. No. Chodorowski. Jodorowsky. He was the one who made that El Topo and Holy Mountain. So you know, we just call him him Baby Yoda. Yeah, we call him Baby Yoda around here. These parts, and so it was in um, conjunction. Conjunction. Anyway, it was with um, Argento. He wrote this and Leone. Uh Don't, don't, nope. Come back. Nope, come back. Am I playing you off? What? Nope, we're talking. We're talking about this. So it's oh, an fine. avant-garde surreal horror film. And um, it takes place in Mexico. And it's 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 really a story about love and how no, love sure is. triumphs all. So yeah. basically, it's about Phoenix. Um, who Jim? Is- it's about me? It's about you. Oh, I should, I should watch this movie. You know, honestly, that would make so much sense. Honestly. I have arms, you. though. I have arms. It can't you be You do me. now. You do now. I'm, and hands. So Thanks to his, John Lodoy. He was a child mu- musician in a circus, and um, his father was Wait, an Bieber? asshole and a deadbeat, oh, like, and um, his mom was a trapeze artist, and... Um, no longer like Justin Bieber. Basically, there was also um, this little girl um, who was a mime and a tightrope walker, and she couldn't speak, and she couldn't... I don't think she could hear, but I can't remember. So I don't know if she was deaf or not. She was a mute mime who's deaf? So she was not even cute a mime. Cute as a button. Just, cute just as a, a button. She's just cute with as a button. button. So, basically... Um... um uh, his mom is also a leader of you. You th- you're throwing me off. She's a re- leader of this religious cult, which basically its patron saint is this. Grandma's cookies. This grandma cookies. The patron saint is grandma's cookies. I wish. You that, wish. We all. <laughs> is this girl who is raped and had her arms cut off? Jesus so... Christ! Rape is not our sponsor, but why are you picking these rape movies? By the way, you you picked the Dragon House. I, that's hey, that's incestuous rape. That, that's different. You, that's you can, different. Was it? You still can't get an abortion for that? Really? Even for that? Jesus Christ! At least you can like travel state line. You can't say travel state line. No, anymore. you cannot. No. So anyway, <laughs> um, the mom finds out about because um, the dad's having an aff- affair, and um, right. the mom finds out um, and kills the the dad, and her arms get cut off. And um You don't remember how, do you? You're like, I oh, I don't know. Something happens, the arms fall off or something. I don't remember how. I don't remember how. It's the black knight. She had a first black knight. I remember that she kept screaming holy blood. Santa Sangre. Oh, yeah. Santa Sangre. Anyway, Sangria. he um the little boy, because he sees all this, and um he shuts down. Um and yep, yeah, as one does, and he ends up in a um an asylum, basically. Ooh, an asylum. And, is that in the asylum like the movies? Is that like Blumhouse? Hey, Those wait, we, oh, we did watch movies. Asylum on uh on on uh, Art House, if you remember. Oh, uh, 
That was the, one of my picks. Oh, that's the one that had the toaster that I was kind of confused or Payne was confused. I forgot who actually did it. <laughs> I think it was Payne. I don't know what character it, it was. was. And it was Payne. a mixer. And me and the other person was like, what are you oh, talking there. about? It was a mixer. So anyways, Jimbo, they had like this like Betty Crocker thing because that's what women get nowadays. Betty Crocker or something like that. And uh, it kills everyone. So that anyway, the entire thing. Phoenix finds his armless mother yeah. eventually oh. after all this time. And he goes back to her and becomes her arms, basically. So he is, he becomes her arms, like literally. Uh-huh. Um, And he plays piano for her and uh, stuff like that. Piano. So, but the whole thing is he's never, he, he never fully actualizes and of course, there's murders that go that's on. Him playing piano. Yep, that's him playing the piano. It's really groovy. And with no arms. With well, he's, he's in that. The arms. What was that one movie where the guy couldn't use his hands at all, but somehow could play piano? And they had Lou Fregel, but not really. And Tara Reid, and also not really. Oh. The Egyptian oh, Mummy one, Dearest. Really. Mummy, Mummy Dearest. Dearest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was it so, that good of a piano, or is it different piano? It was a different piano. It was a grand piano. This one was a grand oh, piano. Grand. I'm at so I'm not going to give away everything that happens because we don't give oh, major spoilers. Please do. No, I think I can give away everything that happens. No, 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 no. We're not. We're going to – because I want people to go see. If you like – if you like The Holy Mirror, if you like El Topo, if you don't like – um, Something that nope. is different. If nope. you like – um. Who cares? What, is, no. what does Argento do? Um, the ugh, what is that genre? Why can I not think of that genre? Um, almost says spaghetti western, but that's really it's, wrong. It's not a spaghetti western, but it's kind of <laughs> like that. Like spaghetti westerns, it's, yeah, it's like spaghetti horror or something. I don't know. It's it's, it's kind of like that. Um, it's the uh, giallo. If you like giallo, um, you know that's not you, true though. I like giallo. If you like something that's different, give this a shot. Because I like roller gator so much, it destroys my relationships. Yeah, I and don't I know still what to tell you. I, st- I don't know what to tell you about that. I think roller gator is a better movie than Santa Sangria. No, I disagree wholeheartedly. It's just enough weird to keep you guessing. And it, it like I said, it's a love story. It's a love story. And I was um, roller gator. It's, Between the the woman they cast and obviously the writer, director, producer of it, apparently, um, and it's just beautifully like, just um, cinem- the cinematography is beautiful. The costumes are beautiful. Um, it has that nitty gritty feel. It's kind of dark and sad in places, but uh-huh. there is triumph and there is you know the a comic deep- salt dog. No, he's in it. So, I didn't see him in it. I am be I I am wholeheartedly telling people go see go see it. Like if this is something I'm that you think you to masturbate is with interesting, cheese instead, is you'll interesting. Have more fun. You, I think, will like it. No, um, I'm I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. Where's my kazoo? No. <laughs> it's, Thank you, Roka. It's good. It's very good. It is put it this way. If you like yoga hosers, Gundabach, you're gonna hate this movie. If you like Jaws, which came out on IMAX again, box, do you see it on IMAX? But it came out earlier this year, Jaws. I, I was oh. watching um, Moon Age Daydream, yeah. the David Bowie one on IMAX, and they had a preview for Jaws. No, I didn't see it on IMAX. I just saw oh. it at the Redford Theater twice. Well, if you have uh, IMAX, it might be still coming out towards your way. Who knows? But if you like any movie that was kind of semi decent, this is not your movie. Uh, watch House of Dra- This is how much I, I dislike this movie. Watch House of Dragon. Don't watch. Here we go. I, I can agree with this. It's better than Cannibal Holocaust. Arguably, it's better than that one. That's it. If your choice is between Cannibal Holocaust and what was it, Santa Sangria? Santa uh, Sangre. Yeah, pick Santa Sangria. Oh my god, he can't yeah. even. 
guys, he cannot even get the title right. Ooh, so therefore, yeah. therefore, I think point in uh-huh. one direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would rather watch take Grandma's cookies and put them where it <laughs> on repeat. You love that again. board. You love that board more than you <laughs> yeah, love. The top one is the Zen, the Zencaster board, and I actually have the uh, the Rowcaster, and then you get more into. It. But yeah, I, 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 sound effects are good for me. Man. I'm gonna I say a four. More. I'm saying a four. A four? Oh four. my fuck! A four? A four, dude. The visuals the, the are beautiful. Is better than this fucking movie. The visuals are beautiful. Maybe it is. It's avant-garde. It's different. Yes. You're not going to get your popcorn That's me type hitting movies. my head on the damn desk. Yes, it okay. is. You're not going to get your popcorn type movie. It's not a Blumhouse movie. Sorry, Blumhouse. It's but not it's a not. Movie. It is a movie. It has a beginning, a middle, and an end. I know about Phoenix. I know his struggles. I know, I know his problems. And I know. Yeah, his struggle is trying to watch this fucking movie. No. That's his struggle. It has, I was assuming when you say it has a story. It has a that story. That story is about love and oh. self acceptance and actualization and determination, like individualistic <sighs> determination from one's yeah. parents and from one's dark past. Yeah. Uh, uh, no. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, skip yeah, it. Yeah. What, what's sad before? Al- you said oh, the there is a, the well, I just want to let people know there is a sad elephant death. I do want to warn you on that. There is animal sad sadness. There's animal cruelty. It's not cruelty. It's acting. I don't think it was acting. I think this was before our species day. No. This yeah. was in the 80s. Yeah. Whatever. All right. Okay. So what did you give it? I gave it a four. A four? I'm giving a negative one. It is on Empire's Magazine's list of 500 greatest movies of all time. Fuck that magazine then. <laughs> Fuck them right in the ass. Fuck them with... <laughs> and that's all I'm saying. I wouldn't watch this with Dr. Payne paying me. Payne could tie me to a chair and put hand sanitizer in places that probably shouldn't have hand sanitizer. And then slap me in the face with Mega Def Beer while I watch Roller Gator. And I'll still pick that option than watching this movie ever again. I can't tell you how much I just, dis- I'm so sorry. I know you think it's a good movie. It moved you, it, was a good t- it taught you, and that's art. I get it. You know, different. That's why we have this podcast because it won a bunch of awards. Reactions to it. So, so did I. Fucking so did I. It doesn't mean I'm good. <laughs> you know, I would have more than yoga hosers. I didn't write yoga hoser. I'm just saying it's it. it's very good. It's very good. No, but I I I, I don't know, man. Okay, uh, what are you giving it? it? You said a negative one. A negative one. A negative one. Negative, negative one, one. Cthulhu. Hmm. So it's, it's the scale goes from negative one to four, much like my um. <clears throat> Robot sex style, but enough about my choking fetish. All right, so we had a big old time. We, oof, I, a big old time. Know, it wasn't a fun show. time. It wasn't a gay time. It was a just a big old time. It was a big old time. <laughs> what are, what movie we're gonna do next week or next time together? Let, let's we're, get that out of the way. Yeah, this one we, was like, we said that we were gonna pants. have one together. What was it again? We both Shit, said I it. I forgot what it was. We said it right before we started recording <laughs> we, too. No, we said it That's during the recording. We during said, the recording? Yes, we did. Anyone who's listening, please let me know what we're supposed to watch next week. That'd be awesome. You have to. Just like text me or something like that. You have to go That'd back cool. and like edit it, dude. Uh, uh, I don't edit these. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. What's that catcher's for? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think it was like some movie were like, oh, we should probably talk about this one instead. <laughs> Well, you were the one that's was. like, oh, we should talk. And I'm like, oh, no, that is a good movie that we should talk about. Hmm. I can't remember what it is, though. Okay. When we anyway. listen to playback, I'll go, like, oh, that was the movie. <laughs> okay. That what are you? Am I plugging? Yeah, yeah let's, do, let's do some plugs. Box, what do you got? Okay. I have 
Trappist monks. So oh, yeah? I said where, put, where a, do? put a I said put a pin on 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 caskets. So I'm gonna come back so I'm coming back to caskets. So okay. Trappist monks, um basically they are they offer and of course, you know, there are rules and regulations and whatnot, but they offer free um or very moderately priced caskets for for bereaved. True. That that's a fucking joke. No. Oh, that's your plug. I thought that was a joke. I'm sorry. That's your plug. So they're offering free caskets. Free caskets for bereaved. Um, uh, especially, Whoa. and I hate to to say this, but f- also for children. Um, they do that. Um, How many children? Like, Four. But no, and, that's, a, that's what I care to do. So, and like I said, they're monks. So they, I mean, they hand make these um, themselves, and they give to back to the people because that's what you know monks are supposed to do and what not. Um, so basically you can go to Trappist Caskets and that's T-R-A-P-P-I-S-T Caskets, C-A-S-K-E-T-S dot com. And you can kind of look at, they got urns, they have keepsakes, um, they have things like that. If you want to give to them, they're, it's also there. Um, but it's just, it's, it's such, they're beautiful caskets. It's a beautiful cause. Um, they seem like they, they put a prayer on each casket that goes out. It's just, it's, it's nice. It's nice, especially when people are in a time of need and when people are at one of the lowest points you can be as a human after losing somebody, it seems like they really step in and help. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. And if anyone knows or have gone through any type of loss and, you you know that undertakers are basically up salesmen. They can't. Like, be. Oh, oh, don't don't you want this special box that they can never? No, no it's, it's still gonna fucking. There's moisture, so no, it's, whatever. It's bullshit. Or don't you want this special special urn? Isn't your loved one worth it? Yeah, no, wouldn't I'm pretty grandma, sure. Box, wouldn't grandma want it? the satin lined blah 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 blah? Yeah, wouldn't. Yeah! Don't you like those? Don't you care? Doesn't grandma enough? <laughs> Don't you want her casket to smell just like grandma's cookies? Well, for yeah, an extra want, you know, $200, we can make that happen. We can throw in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, so I, I can I can get behind that. You know, anyone who can make things a little bit lesser in price mm-hmm. and still give some of the ones of closure, I, I think that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a good pick. And just like boxes, Burb, Jay and Brennick's pick, my pick is something about death. Are you afraid? Do you want to, like, cheat death? We can't really cheat death, but you can outrun death. Especially if you're wearing zero shoes. X-E-R, Fuck off. S-H-L-E-S. Fuck off. <laughs> zero shoes, I count. We're having a sale up to 70% off right now because they're having a new supply coming in of, of the different fashion. So. If, if you've seen some, like I got 360s the other day and they're, they're lovely. And I have, I think, Speed Force. I have, like, I bought three pair of zero shoes one for hiking, one for everyday wear, and one for running on the, on the track on the road. I mean, and I can't get enough of them. They are the only ones I have big feet and they don't sell them in Canada. But big enough shoes for me. So, zero shoes, X E R S H O E S dot com. You guys are all lovely. And if you act now, it's like 70% off, so why wouldn't you? Matter of fact, just by their economical, ecological, and everything else, ethnocentrical statements, I've already sold a few pair for them. It's a beautiful thing. I'm, I'm giving the, the gift of happy feet. There you go. So there you have it. We have cassocks for kids and uh, shoes. <laughs> and shoes. Our... our, our, our... <laughs> Our uh, plugs have come some time, a long way. <laughs> several, several projects and like charities. But well, I guess that one is a charity still, but I just, I like shoes. Uh, so you like these bad, shoes. I, I love these shoes. You, you love these shoes. Oh They're wide box and like, no, I mean, they're, they're uh, wide box, the, 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 the toe box. I, uh, 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 uh. They're, they're wide box for toes and I, I can't fit most shoes, so I have to go, like go up to three or four sizes just to fit my feet in them. And these were beautiful. They're, they're the one shoes. I'm like, oh my god, I can actually fit in them. It's a it's a touching thing. You know what so, they say about a guy with big feet? 
He's not Fix Cinderella. Me. He's not Cinderella. Not Cinderella. Well, um, I am the wicked stepsisters. So, with that being said, on behalf of myself, who am I again? Jim Phoenix <laughs> and my special co host, JM Brannick. And, like, well, as we always say, goodbye. <laughs> if there's a movie you haven't seen, thank God, because don't watch Santa Sicaria. It's a completely horrible thing. It's great. Hello, everyone. It's bad. Boo. It's good. It's so good. Where's my boo thing? Where's my booing? No. <laughs> Not with more blood. <laughs> no, that's the yays. I need a boo. Yay! Santa Sangria. <laughs> I hear a cat. Oh, you hear a cat. Okay, bye everyone. <laughs>